$3 into $175. Would you guys have picked it up or walked past it? Let me know in the comments. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for profit on different selling platforms. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I think some of these are going to knock your socks off. Um, these come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Uh, this is what my Facebook group looks like. Definitely go join. There's a link down below if you're not in it already. Um, 85,000 members and going strong. New members every day. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it. And for those of you that shared a bolo, thank you so much. It is free to share. If you would like to get the perks where you get the mention and the shout out and the um, link of either your eBay store or your YouTube channel in the description, you can join memberships level two and there is more information about that in the description no pressure to join it is completely free to watch and share a bolo thank you guys for being here and let's get started with the first one um what i did is i invited everyone to share their best march bolo this is what it looks like so i post this in the facebook group under the featured slash announcements section and everybody just shares their bolos and then I share them in videos like this to help myself and everyone learn. It's a great educational tool. So definitely check out the whole series. This first one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode and this is her YouTube channel and she is a bolo finder and she sells really cool stuff. So definitely check her out down below. She said, I bought this UFO light a year ago for $5 at a garage sale. There's a few listed in this price range and it finally sold on eBay for full asking price. It's a vintage UFO fiber optic lamp, 1990s original box. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love fiber optics. Um, I just love fiber optics and this one is rotating, color changing. It looks fantastic. It's a fiber optic lamp and it is super cool. She sold it for $99 and bought it for five at a garage sale. This one comes from The Funky Pickle Thrifter. This is her YouTube channel. And if you want to learn about jewelry, she is like a master. Um, her channel is incredible. She sells jewelry, but she also sells tons of other really cool things. So um, some great channels to follow. I got this at a community sale for $3 and took a best offer of $175. I don't know much about glassware, but thought because it was Fenton and hand painted and signed, it might be a good bet. And it was. This is what it looks like. Vintage pink glass Fenton lampshade only, hand-painted, signed J. Huffman with flowers. And um, yeah, that $3 into $175. Would you guys have picked it up or walked past it? Let me know in the comments. Here is another one from Abigail's Artful Abode. She said, I had this itch to see if I could find some Versace plates on OfferUp when I saw someone on Instagram had received some as a gift. I did find someone, and even though they were priced sky high, the seller said he had a lot of other stuff. So I took the chance. So I took the chance and went and had a look. Apparently his wife, who had passed, owned a gift store she closed in the 90s. His garage and several rooms in his home were full of high-end glassware, porcelain purses, clothing, etc. Not really knowing any of the brands, I just made a pile of stuff, including this canister. Then I glanced at the maker. Ooh, Fornacetti? Fornacetti is a very famous pop art porcelain designer and his stuff goes for big money. I sold a small trinket dish with the same designer, I'm sorry, with the same design for $179. And this one just sold on eBay. I've asked him if I can come back. This time I'm going to try to do some research on some of the items he has. $279 on this. 1980s rare Fornacetti, Rossethanol, <laughs> Germany Roman building lidded jar canister. That's what it looks like. That is fantastic. This one comes from Antiques from Karen. 
found this set in the hoarded estate that I inherited from my mother. Was listed for about eight months. Sold for full asking price after I started listing two a day consistently. I'm working on 80s and 90s toys now. They are next to be showing up in my Antiques from Karen store. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. And this is what she sold. Antique book set, 10 four-minute essays by Dr. Frank Crane, 1919 volumes 1 through 10. Another found item in my mom's estate. I've been reselling for four years now. Haven't sourced anything. Will likely be at it another four years. No cost of goods to me, just time sorting and learning. Again, YouTube channel Antiques from Karen. Vintage Apple Macintosh software sealed new old stock copy manuals discs sold for $65 plus shipping. eBay store Edge City Traders. I picked up this lace pillow sham at an estate sale for $1 and sold it for $22 with tax and shipping. Buyer was all in for $30.05. I found the sham in a linen closet at an estate sale. It was not individually priced and there was a sign saying pillowcases were a dollar each. I love to go through linen closets at estate sales because items are usually not individually priced and other shoppers skip the linen closet. This is what it looks like kind of blurry but edge city thrift um i'm sorry edge city traders bolo buddies member this one comes from bolo buddies member frog hair flipping betsy johnson rose all day wristlet bought at the goodwill for a dollar 99 and took a offer of 81 it is a wristlet bag purse retired and rare and this is what it looks like huh that's fun right this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Leo's Treasures, and she said, I purchased this Scentsy Lovey at a baby sale for $3. I didn't know Scentsy made a Lovey, so I knew it would sell. I had it in my store on sale, and it sold within days for $43.87. It's a Scentsy Security Blanket Buddy Lovey, Bria the Bunny, Brown, Tan, Pink, and Satin. Yeah, that is cute. Loveys definitely can be a Bolo. I always pick up Loveys. They range from bread and butter to big money. Usually bread and butter, but somebody's always looking for them. And I always get the coolest messages and feedback from people that buy those. Here's another one from Leo's Treasures. I bought a vintage Barbie box full of 1960s Barbies and Barbie clothes at an estate for 20. So this one piece maybe cost 25 cents. Took a best offer of 22.50 for the jacket. I sold this jacket and another dress within the first day of listing. And I love her little mannequin. She has like a little mannequin to hold the little clothes. It's so cute. Barbie Vintage 1960 Red Matinee Jacket Fur Collar, number 1640, jacket only. So you see what she did there? She knows which one it is. She identified it. She put the number and those things, those keywords are going to help people find your item. This next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Kahoff, Kahoff, I'm not sure how to say it, dash 77. This is what our eBay store looks like. Our Bolo is another item from Mariposa. Found this tray at our local Goodwill for $6.99. Sold in a few weeks for $59 after the discount. Mariposa aluminum beaded pearl two-handle serving plate platter. Not sure. Cut off. I think it's platter. That's what it looks like. Here is another one's from Leo's Treasures. I bought three of these at the Goodwill for 99 cents each. This is my last one to sell. I took a best offer of 30. Each has sold for 30 or more. It is a vintage Japan MCM blonde ponytail teen girl talking on a blue telephone. This one comes from Sharon Share Alike. That is her eBay store. This is what it looks like. She is putting some YouTube content out also, so I will link her down below. Pick these up at the Goodwill store for $4.50. Um, it was originally $5.99, but she had a member discount of 25% off. Sold for full asking price of $54 on Mercari. And um, what is it? It's a... Peloton cycling spin shoes, size 41, women's 10, men's 8, with cleats, $54. There you have it. And then she posted a better picture right here. 
This one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and this is her eBay store, and she is putting out some YouTube content, so check her out both places. Purchased a large lot of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts items at an auction. She has pennies in this. It's a vintage Imperial Prov RI USA 5 blade Boy Scout pocket knife. Sold for a best offer of $47.50. Here is another one from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Vintage needlepoint embroidery flowers on blue finished wood framed pictures. And I'm guessing a lot of you would have walked past this. Cost about $1.50 in a large lot purchase and sold for $39.50 best offer. This one also comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty. Took an offer of $100. Cost me pennies and a big lot of jewelry I purchased at an estate. It's a vintage brooch, flower, amber, clear, glass, cabochon, milk glass, dome shape on gold. Wow. Check out that. Sold it for $100. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Ohio Treasure Hunters, and this is his eBay store. He is also linked down below. Wanted to share this so everyone knows to look out for it. This is a discontinued scent. I picked them up at Gabe's, which used to be Gabriel Brothers, which used to be my number one place for sourcing um, back when I did retail arbitrage. Um, but they changed ownership and, you know, pricing has changed. So I, I do not do retail arbitrage anymore. Now I'm out thrifting, going to the Goodwill bins. That's more of my thing. But I did used to do a lot of Gabriel Brothers shopping. So he picked these up at Gabe's for $2.99 each, can, a can, and sold all three lots. I had two cans per lot to the same buyer for $49.99 per lot. So a total of $149.97 for six cans. <gasps> That's awesome. So $2.99 each at Gabe's. Old Spice Refresh Bear, Bear Glove. Bear Glove? Body Spray. And they are new. That's awesome. Sold for $78 plus shipping. Bought last summer at a yard sale in a bundle deal. Probably paid between $5 and $10 for it. Not working. No strings. Not a bad profit. Sold it for 78 plus shipping. It's a Monkey's Toy Guitar 1966 Music Maker. Not a music maker anymore with no strings, but very cool item. All right, this one comes from Ray Nathan RZ09. It is a Think Geek bag of Holding Canvas Original Backpack. Never seen this. Definitely a bolo. Posted March 9th, sold March 11th. So quick bolo. Was at a thrift store for $14.99 on half price. So $7.50. Bag is used for carrying board games. A laptop and the D20 Dungeon and Dragons logo is on the front. Think Geek don't have a website by themselves anymore. So some are collectibles. Anything with Dungeon and Dragons is worth looking up. I do agree with that. Sold in five days on relisting after buyer messaged me to to ask if any tears. No, just where the original backpack is rarer than the messenger. Wow, $129.99. That's incredible. Even though the photos were bad because I was rushing, still sold in less than 24 hours. Mine was open and looked complete, but I wasn't sure, so sold as is. I uh, Package was sealed. There are some listed for over 100, not sold yet. Mine was highest sold even though it was open. I think I paid $2.99 at a thrift store, sold it for $75.99 plus free shipping. eBay store is Ray Nathan Z09, RZ09, sorry. Bucilla Coolin It Santa Felt Christmas Stocking Kit. Beach 18 inch tropical beach. Yeah, these uh, stocking kits, uh, any brand, some of them are bread and butter. Some of them can go for big money. Definitely look them up if you see them. Start time, March 13th, sold in five days on March 18th. Toki Doki and Less Sport Sack collab bag. It has the rainbow zipper, which is not being made anymore, and the rare city print. Has some flaws, but still valuable. Has been listed for a long time, over a year. Had it listed at 79 plus shipping on Mercari. Had relisted it and forgot to lower the price on eBay, so sold for 90 was at a thrift store for $14.99, half price, so paid $7.50. So a lot of great detail there of what to look for. 
Hi, Courtney. I'm brand, a brand new member of your YouTube channel. Thank you for all you do. My name is Chez from Take Two Enterprises on eBay and Mercari. This is what it looks like, her eBay store. First bolo this month was this retired Pampered Chef can opener. Bought it at an estate sale for less than a dollar. Sold eight days later for full asking price of $59.99 plus shipping. So it is a Pampered Chef can opener. How cool is that? All right. And her eBay store will be linked down below. My second bolo was this Viking glass hedgehog I got free from a clean out my sister had worked on for a friend. I sold it for a best offer of $50. It says vintage Viking glass animal figures, uh, animal figure, hedgehog, black handmade original label. And this is what it looks like. Um, one thing I do want to mention here, um, just for educational purposes, is you see how she has the equal sign? From what I understand, this is what I have been told, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, any punctuation in your title can mess up the search. That is what I have been told. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't put any apostrophes or anything like that in my listings because that is what I've been told. So um, be careful with punctuation. It just kind of, just a space is fine instead of doing like the equal sign. So just a little tip that I have heard from others. Again, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, she still sold this for $50. So obviously it was still searchable, but I don't know. Might be one of those things that's really not true. But either way, it does take up your characters where you could be putting in other keywords. So I picked up a lot of Easter decorations in a box at the Goodwill during the summer and paid $2.99 for the whole box. If it were vintage painted eggs, oh, I'm sorry, in it were vintage painted eggs from Germany and decoupage eggs, Easter tree decorations and such. But then there were about two dozen vintage 10 eggs from the 1960s. Yes, the 10 eggs are awesome. They had some pretty amazing graphics. I sat for a long time trying to figure out how to list them. At first, I listed two, and they sold quickly. Then I listed eight, and they also sold pretty fast. Then I put a whole dozen up for auction. The auction had 120 views and 27 watchers. I started the auction at 20 and got a bid almost immediately. They sold for $53.35 plus shipping. I found four more, and I somehow forgot to list and sold them too. All right. So I just sold some vintage 10 candy containers as well, and I will pop mine up here. I can't remember what they sold for but they were definitely a bolo as well. Now, there's a lot of factors that come into play. What is on the egg? Um, if you can't find exact items, I recommend that you auction them off because you may have something special because there's so much variation. Uh, also, the year they're made, they're just hard to identify. Google Lens is a, a good thing to uh, definitely use for these. Hi, Courtney. Love your videos. I just became a member last month. This was my best sale of the month. Here is my best bolo for March. I was picking up an item I won in auction and there was leftover stuff that company was selling that no one had bid on. I picked up two Stroh's beer signs with electric cord. No, di no idea if it worked or not. Got them both for 50. So 25 is in on this one. It lights up and has movement. So I put a video in the listing for the first time. Even though I received a low bow offer early on, I held out and got full asking of 115 plus 25 shipping. I'm a new member. Thank you for all you do. Um, can use help building my YouTube audience. Oh, here we go. Thriftaholic. She put it on the last one. She's got some more she's showing here. I could not remember it. I'm sorry, you guys. There are so many members. Definitely, if you are a Bolo Buddies member and you are level two for perks, Make sure that you hashtag Bolo Buddies member and you put your YouTube channel or your eBay store because just like right now, I freeze up and I forget because there's so many members. Um, but only do that if you are a Bolo Buddies member on the YouTube channel. Um, otherwise, uh, I just shout out your Bolo and that is completely free. Okay, so here is a picture of the Stroh's Lighted with Motion Fire Brewed Beer Sign. So... Here's the next one. I picked up nine different Bark Box dog toys up at a garage sale for a dollar each. Their names cracked me up. There was even Vincent Van Squirrel with a bandage 
on his ear and paintbrush in his hand. I got a good laugh and a great profit. This Brunheild toy sold for 25 plus shipping. Other ones, 20 to 25 each. All new with tags, by the way. So Bark Box. This is what it looks like. Okay, last one. I won this Kachina doll in an online auction for $15. I know nothing about them, but this one was signed by artists, so I took a shot based on videos I had been watching in Cat the Nurse Flipper. He took about eight months to sell, had to find the right buyer, paid $15, sold for $75 plus shipping. Comps were all over the place, so I priced a little high and waited it out. My YouTube channel and eBay store are called Thriftaholic. This is what it looks like. And this is what the, the figurine looks like. Rare hand carved wood feathers, Kachina doll, dancing eagle artist, Ophelia, I think is what it says. And this is what it looks like. All right, I got a lovey. This one comes from Double T's Treasures, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. Again, all of these members are linked down in the description. They either have YouTube channels or eBay stores. Go follow them. Subscribe to them on YouTube. They are great. And you can also check out their eBay stores. And there's a little heart. If you click on that heart on eBay, that follows the store. And then you will get notifications when they post new items. And you also get coupon alerts. All right, let's look at this lovey that sold for big money. This is Pickles the Lamb Satin Trim Lovey. Paid a couple bucks at a thrift store and sold it on Poshmark for $64. Took almost a year to sell. But hey, worth the wait, right? Definitely worth the wait. Like I always say, who cares? If you can sell something for that big of a profit, who cares how long it takes to sell? That's my opinion. A lot of people do not agree with me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are a listed and forget it, or if you are a, it's been listed this long, I need to do something about this and get rid of it. Um, look forward to seeing your comments down below. This one comes from Double T's Treasures and definitely check out her YouTube channel. All right, you guys, we're going to stop there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out another video. Subscribe if you're new here. I would appreciate it greatly. Um, if you like this type of video, let me know down in the comments. And if you watch my channel on a regular basis, tell me which videos are your favorite. And if you are new here, let me know how you found the channel. Oh, I almost said goodbye. Or thanks for watching. And I remembered, I want to tell you guys, Go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, if you're not already in it, and share a bolo for April. All right, now I'm going to say it. Not goodbye. See you soon. Thanks for watching.